Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about Open Core Legacy Patcher version 2.3.1. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Open Core Legacy Patcher OCLP 2.31 is a minor update released shortly after 2.3.0 focusing primarily on bug fixes and maintaining macOS 15.4 Sequoia support. The primary change in 2.3.1 resolves an issue where configurations with open core vaulting enabled failed to boot. This bug, introduced in 2.3.0, affected systems using vaulting for added security, and 2.3.1 ensures these setups now boot correctly. Like 2.3.0, this version prioritizes compatibility with macOS Sequoia 15.4, ensuring unsupported Macs from 2007 to 2017 Intel models can run this update with patch drivers and root volume modifications. So that was it for OCLP 2.3.1 update. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. To update to the current release of OCLP, click on Download and Install, and the new version will be downloaded and installed as well. When you get the success message, click on Yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed. And after that, click on the EFI partition. When you get the success message, click on Yes from the menu. Click on the Start Root Patching option and proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the Reboot option, and then restart your Mac, and you're done. and the Mac still boots up without any issues. Now, let me quickly update the unsupported Mac running macOS Sequoia 15.0 with OCLP version 2.3.1 to macOS Sequoia 15.4. And here you can see the macOS Sequoia 15.4 update is available for this unsupported Mac. Click on Update Now, then agree to the SLA to begin the update. While downloading the update, OCLP will kick in and will prompt you with this message. Make sure to click on OK and OCLP will download a few files needed, and your unsupported PC will be updated in a while. Installation takes 20 to 60 minutes with multiple reboots. OpenCore will handle each reboot automatically.
After installation, your Mac will boot into Sequoia 15.4, but with broken graphics. Now, you'll need to apply post-install root patches. You'll automatically get the OCLP prompt for applying the patches. Just click on OK, and it'll be done in a while. Once you get this message, click on the reboot option and then restart your Mac and you're done. and everything is done, OCLP has been updated, and you can see the Mac is successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.4 using OCLP 2.3.1. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.